Good morning, Mr. Director, guests of uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I try not to pronounce your name because I know I will make a mistake at the first place. So I don't want to. That's why I use distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed an honor and a privilege for me to be invited as a guest of honor today to attend the seminar on New Age Business Drivers Embracing Fresh Realities held by Neville Wadia Institute of Management Studies and Research. Ladies and gentlemen, on the outset, I would like to talk a bit about myself. You can hear from uh, the introduction that I flew directly from Bangkok just to be with you this morning. And I'm kind of excited. Uh, let me share with you first before getting into the business. I have never been experienced such a ceremony before. To me, it seems very sacred and highly respected. And thank you for sharing the experience with me. Okay. okay. Uh, since I'm an instructor in human resource management, I'm going to uh, define myself to the scene or the, to the scenario of uh, human resource management. Generally agree upon among academics that the global business environment is experiencing an unprecedented changes. And these changes has put the HR, or human resource, in the hot seat. I say quote unquote, hot seat, okay. And to comply with the theme of the conference, ladies and gentlemen, let me share with you the business driver that affecting the global business trend. To begin with, I think every all know that technology which impact every employee. Technology no longer do only administrative work as in before, but now today you see, it provides rich analytics necessary for, let's say, forecast finance performance, even monitor the workforce behavior or track the product performance. This is to begin with. The second one, the aging workforce. I'm one of those, okay. <laughs> and a lot of people involved in the aging group of it, okay. And according to my survey, I have conducted a research in Thailand, okay. Uh, they all agree that for the time being, you know, the workforce is consisted of three groups, namely baby boomer, uh, Gen X and Gen Y, but in the next five to ten years, no, seven to ten years, the all baby boomer will be gone, and the future of the company will be in the hand of Gen Y. And I think all of the student right here, you have a potential to help develop your organization. Okay, and this, and you can hear a lot of catchwords uh, dealing with the workforce. For example, um, uh, mobile workforce. <laughs> I love this one, mobile workforce. They work through mobile, okay. A free agent workforce or global workforce. Let me share with the global workforce in Thailand because I have uh, my friend from Singapore. And since the 31st December last year, I mean, 2015, uh, AEC, ASEAN Economic uh, Community has been ineffective, okay? And in Thailand, there is a wide range of, I would say, global workforce. They are from mm, Myanmar, from Laos, and from uh, Cambodia but not from Vietnam, no. 
let's say specifically with the Myanmar group, in Thailand, we are famous for the fishing industry. There are two or three provinces that deal with the fishing industry. Can you imagine if all Myanmar people go back home, everything stopped, put into a big halt because Thai people don't get into fishing industry because they say it's a hard work and like a, is very, I mean, the environment, working environment is hazardous or something like that. But this is uh, one example of it, okay? But I'm glad that I'm going to be one in the baby boomer and it's going to be <laughs> just, <laughs> la 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 la, you get it, take it for granted that you understand it, okay? Now, let's come to uh, the uh, the third one, I think, the speed of change in business. The pace of business has been accelerated. Organizations must rapidly launch multiple products into many countries at one time in order to drive for revenue objectives. And at the same time, they must react quickly uh, to the competitive products, maintain relationship with the customer, this one, it made the company now have to try for the talent, I would say talent, strategic, because we need some talent to be with the company in order to react very fast. And fourthly, HR needs to be reduced, I mean, in terms of cost, this can be headcount driver and include third party spending, especially in training or recruitment. Like in Thailand, even nowadays, the what so called the recruitment will be in the hand of the outsourcing agency, or even they have a, what you call a center for training and development with no longer belong to any specific company anymore. There is like a, a freelance organizer as well. And also, uh, simple work has been automated or outsourced. The remaining work is complex. Therefore, the need for talent is uh, driven by complexity of work that employees must now handle. The, f the six, I guess, uh, talents and skill shortage due to the aforementioned changes in, in business that I have mentioned earlier. The firms need to rely on talent st strategic skill. So the shortage in skill and talent uh, are putting HR into the front line of acquiring, developing, and retaining talent. I think I'm going to cover the last one, okay? A company operates under increasing complex regulatory environment, which means that for those who are going to work uh, outside the country, they have to know or to learn the foreign environment, especially in working atmosphere. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to meet with the business driver that I have aforementioned, uh, we heard so many words or jargon in HR area. For example, we have talent management, we have succession plan, we have outsourcing, and even we talk about transformation. I would introduce, you know, if the companies mean they wanted to transform, so it means that they have to develop HR capabilities to cope with these challenges and consider developing capacity that align with the company's strategy and business. Ideally, 
HR transform should be integrated with business strategies so that the new HR capabilities are developed in synchronized with the business uh, target. So, but in reality, you can see that HR is not involved until late in the end of the game. And in terms of strategy, we don't want to have a seat to sit with the strategic team, but we want a seat that we can do whatever we think that deem appropriate to the uh, business uh, objectives, okay? I think I have uh, speak a lot, okay? And before I close my remarks, I would like to express our heartfelt appreciation and deep gratitude to the first to mention is Dr. Anand Dadas, okay, for his untiring effort to make the conference uh, uh, fruitful and mem memorable, especially for me. Uh, he has worked, I think he has worked around the clock because I saw he is on, he's online. <laughs> through the night, okay? And um, most of all, you know, he is very considerate. And he knows that I'm uh, no longer a girl anymore, but mm, a woman. I came here by myself, and he knows that, you know, I might need uh, some friend or to some certain degree, and she has uh, my sister, Nongpu, uh -huh. uh, okay, please, uh -huh. uh, to be with me. Yeah. And I really appreciate her friendship. It, uh -huh. And we just found out that, wow, we came from the same hometown, okay? And I think in uh, this regard, Dr. Uh, Anand Dadas, okay? <laughs> am, I, am I right? Yeah, okay. I uh, this uh, a big hand from all of us, please. <laughs> okay, I would be failing if I don't mention, let me write down her name, Dr. Chenga, okay, I really appreciate. And there is one gentleman, I, I don't know where he is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. I call him Andrew, Andrew. He is the first gentleman that I met in Pune. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> he tried to respond to to my my needs. Okay, he tried to. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, and uh, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all the organizing committee and those who work behind the scene to make this. Uh, seminar, uh, productive and fruitful. And I won't forget one more person. Uh, I don't think that she's in here, but pass by the words to her too. Dr. Girti from Apnihev Education Society, who tried to encourage me to visit uh, this university and I'm very thankful her for that, okay? In closing, I don't think that I, forget any name, okay? And most important of all, thank for the audience and all the participants who in attend the seminar or the conference today. And in closing, taking the conference theme, New Age Business Driver, embracing fresh realities into consideration, I believe that all of the participants agree with me that the conference, this conference is an ideal platform for all of us to enhance our visibility, both locally and nationally. And I look forward to see a very success of this seminar. And I'm very proud of you all. Thank you.